I used to live in Texas in the early 2000s, and I gained a valuable insight regarding the age-old cliche. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Most Texans would dispute that claim and say, yes, you can make the horse drink, you just have to make it thirsty. With the right methods or approach, you can help move your learners into a position where they are motivated to take ownership of their learning. In this assignment, you'll create a report or video that will address one of the 13 motivation tips in your textbook. Whether you choose a traditional report or video, you will need to use the APA formatting and must cite and reference all your sources. In addition to the textbook readings, you will need to reinforce or do additional research on motivation by exploring things like Maslow's hierarchy of needs that stresses there are levels of motivation that need to be addressed in order of importance. The ERG theory and Heisberg's motivation theories are built on Maslow's theory but argue that you can hold one or two more factors that can influence motivation. Um, also, Heisberg touches on the fact that uh, there are things that will satisfy us and things that will disappoint us. The Canadian professor of psychology, Victor Vroom, posits the expectancy theory of motivation and argues that motivation is a result of the combination of three factors, expectancy, instrumentality, and valence. Another theorist, McClellan, argues that we are motivated by achievement, power, and affiliation. Daniel Pink suggests that we are motivated by autonomy, mastery, and purpose. Regardless of the theorists, there seems to be an interaction between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. I've only touched on a few of the theories that you will need to explore to help you integrate motivation strategies into your teaching and learning process and create an effective and engaging learning environment. To summarize, Pick one of the 13 motivational tips in chapter three of the textbook and use the five guiding questions from the assignment instructions and divide your report or video into these sections. If you want to get the most out of this activity and create a helpful report, you will need to at minimum explore all the motivation resources we have given you as a starting point. If you want to strive for that level four standard in the rubric, you will need to go beyond the minimum. If you do decide to use a video, please make sure that you address the best practices for creating a video section that we have outlined in this course.